Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and welcome to HGTV. I'm your host, Nolan Varner. And I'm Nick Kinder. And welcome to the station that is about to give you your local volleyball, cross country, and local club call-up meeting updates. But first, to Dallas with the weather. Hi, everyone. I'm bringing you the weather and the quote of the day and the quote of the day again. But the weather today is a high of 73 and a low of 51, and it is partly cloudy with no chance of rain until Friday. And the quote of the day is, I am the night. I am justice. I am Batman. Have a great day, folks. Dallas out. It's Dallas. Happy birthday goes out to Eduardo Duarte, Whitney Freeman, Abad Blasona Bragan, Alyssa Prassel, and Elizabeth Rodriguez. For lunch today, we'll be having chicken smackers and rib sandwich or a chicken sandwich in lines one and two. Line three will be closed. Line four will be having soup and salad bar with chicken and rice soup. And then line five, Big Daddy Pizza. It's now time for sports with Alyssa. The cross country team competed at the Harrison Nine Way Meet and both teams finished fifth out of nine teams. The girls had three top 20 times in FHS history, with Karina Alanis moving up to the 14th best time with a 22-21 PR. Blazer Salid not improving on her current top 20 best time, but still running a season best 22-46. And Christina Espedio moving up to the 19th best time with a 23-16 PR. The boys were led by Hugo Hernandez once again. He finished sixth place overall with a new PR of 17-27. Other top finishers include 24th place Kevin Espinoza with an 1834 and a new PR by Josue Bautista in 29th with a time of 1854. Both teams will race at Danville on Saturday. The FHS volleyball teams came out with a victory at North Montgomery on Tuesday evening. The JV started off winning 2-1. Leading the team was Morgan Adamson with 18 assists, 7 kills, and 4 aces. Sydney Whitaker also had a strong offensive performance with 8 kills. Yasmin Hernandez led the defensive effort with 15 digs and Kylie Norman with a strong all-around match with 6 kills and 6 digs. Tara Martinez led the comeback for the win in Game 3 with strong serving. The JV is 2-0. The varsity defeated North Montgomery 3-1, starting off the conference season 1-0. Leading the way offensively were Ashley Timmons with 15 kills and 19 digs, with Kimmy Kingma contributing 13 kills. Riley Isgrig had 47 assists, Emily Michael had an 8 kills, and Allison Timmons had 5 kills. Chloe Roberts with 6 kills, 3 blocks, and 20 digs. Avery Drew led the defensive side of the ball with 33 digs. Lindsay Gay added 13 digs, and Jenna Rockhold with 100% from the surface line. Both teams play Delphi in Case Arena on Thursday evening. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio with Nolan. Thanks, Alyssa. The academic spell bowl team for 2018 will be forming this Thursday, August 23rd at 255 in Route 221. If you're interested in pinning your spelling ability against other people, come to the meeting and join the fun with senior Fortner and the seasoned veterans such as myself. Crash is having a call-out meeting on August 29th in the back of the cafeteria. Hispanic Heritage Month presentations at the elementary schools will be on Wednesday, September 19th. To help with the presentations, you must be a member of CRASH. Applications for CRASH and to be a presenter at the elementary schools can be found in room 201 and are due by Wednesday, September 5th. Digital Photography Club call-out meeting is tomorrow, Dream Community in Lab Room 150. There will be a short call-out meeting in the hospitality room beside Mr. Olson's room on Thursday, August 23rd, directly after school at 2.45 p.m. for anyone interested in joining the Frankfurt Swimming and Diving Team. We will go over a few important points such as open, swim, dive, tates, dates and times, and a general overview of what the season includes. Full sport athletes, you will be able to be out in time to make it to your after school practices. Contact Coach Robbins or Coach Menendez if you have any questions. That wraps it up here at HGTV. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay connected to all the latest hot dog news and sports. Have a great Wednesday. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
time.